hey, just a real quick video. Um, just kind of wanted to, you know, go over some stuff with you guys. Uh, what this past month has been kind of happening with me in the business. Um, believe it or not, uh, I'm getting a lot of phone calls and stuff for uh, next year already. Um, new potential customers are contacting me for uh, service for next year already. So, I mean, that's kind of uh, cool to see. Uh, phone's already ringing for next year, and we're already in uh, in just in October, I think. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, I got the uh, phone ringing for, uh, you know, new potential customers. Um, I've been out bidding uh, two new HOAs. Uh, I'm turning in bids tomorrow on those. So, hopefully, I'll get those. And then I also got word from my other HOA that was servicing this year that we are uh, going to continue service for next year on that one. And then my phone rang again today, and I have uh, picking up a commercial account. Uh, I'm actually going to go mow it the first time, and the only time this year will be tomorrow. Um, but then they will continue service with me next year. We're going to set that up tomorrow after I mow. So things are looking up already for next year. I mean, you know, what I'm going to do with my business is I'm going to, you know, take my account list. I'm going to trim down the accounts that don't make sense. Um, and kind of just keep the ones that I want to keep, you know, the ones that were giving me headaches this year or slow payers or were just trouble yards for me. I'm just not going to keep them next year. I'm going to kind of build around the core. You know, I think I ended up with 47 accounts, so I might trim down to like maybe 25, you know, really good accounts, maybe 30. And then I'm just going to build around it, you know, make my business more profitable for me, get my route density down and get uh, better profitability out of my company. But it's exciting to see um, the phone ringing already for next year. And the potential to you know land a couple of large contracts maybe, um, so it's kind of a learning process too. The bidding of HOAs is a little bit more uh, difficult than I originally thought. There's a lot more into it. You know, you got to consider a lot of things when you're doing those. You know, so it's been a learning process. But I can tell you from day one of my lawn care business to where I'm now, I'm a hundred times more confident in what I can and can't do, and my ability to bid I think has grown dramatically. You know, I think I'm pretty close to some other guys that are out there. Um, you know, I might still be a little lower than some, but, you know, I don't have a lot of overhead either. So, you know, I think I'm kind of in the middle, actually. But, you know, I'm still learning. Um, we're going to see what happens to the uh, HOA bids I turn in and see if I'm too high. Maybe I came in too low. Um, but we'll find out, and uh, I'll kind of keep you guys posted. But thanks for watching, as always. And uh, like and subscribe if you uh, like the videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free. Thanks, guys.